Check out this machine. This is fantastic. All what this does is just make sure it puts pressure down on the roof. Now the roof is a very important part of this whole scheme of things because this roof you can walk on. They've even taken to put a golf cart on the left here for a period of time. This is how good this machine is. It has all these type of foam, um, course, uh, foam winglets, like just like a wing. It looks just like a wing when goes puts together. And again, it's the same sort of hot glue lamination process. They put eight inside one at one time. Fantastic. This is the big, big machine that I was talking, to, showing you just before, with the big control panel. Here you've got the big winglets in behind me here, and they've got at a certain angles, just like a wing, and I'll show you that in a moment. But the great thing about it is, when you have that type of thing, put a veneer on it, it makes it so strong. It makes it so solid and impregnable. I put an, another vinyl over the top of that again to make it impregnable. I'll show you that vinyl out there in a moment. But the great thing, once you do this, it stops any of the wet coming in. Okay, we, we often worry about whether our vans will leak. With this type of roof, we just can't do it. You know, the, the fact is it, it makes it nearly impregnable to, to water. And so when you get the situation like that, and a roof that you can stand on and walk all over, no problems at all, there's no dramas with that at all, and you can clean it, whatever you like, it is resistant to, to things, a heavy hail and things like that to a fair degree as well. With the vinyl on it, if you did get hail damage, and if it was a really bad hail damage, take the vinyl off, start again, put that over the top. Don't have to re-strip the whole thing like you would in a normal van. Okay, so this is the, the, the differences now in technology that we're able to, to attain for the Australian market. So this is the sort of thing, big machines like this that do the job properly for us and get it done and get it out so that you can enjoy your, your caravanning. See this here? This is an example of the, of the product that goes into the roof and it's curved naturally like a wing. It goes all the way down and just narrows right out. So when you, when you have it like that, that gives it a natural curvature for the water to, to flow off, of course. So when you've got that type of thing over the top of your van, and then it's got all this um, area for uh, cabling and things like to go through, and then when you actually also put a veneer on it and solid, make it solid, it makes a huge difference to the strength. You, you just can't believe it until you actually start walking on these things. They're just unbelievable. Okay, very smart and very, very light. And that's a big factor of everything in the Cruiser RV range is very, very light. So something to consider when, you, when you're looking at, a, at a, a van is, can you walk on the roof? Can you actually make be certain in your mind that it's not gonna leak when you've got something like this above you? This is the thing you need to worry about. Get the veneer on the top like it is, makes it impervious with the water, with the vinyl um, covering over the top again, that then just makes it yeah, the best. It's great. This is the roof material I was talking to you about. Very important, this goes over the top, get that over that whole winglet. That keeps it impervious to water. It's really good, it's like a really rubbery vinyl um, uh, material, but it's a different one again. It's, it's, it's just shrink wraps basically over the whole top. It's fantastic material. Okay, I just wanted to show you quickly the uh, slide outs and the mechanisms that involve with the, with the slide outs. You've got up, up the top, and you also got that, that very same down the bottom here below, but I can't show you in one shot. So what that allows is, is four, four places. So this is either end, so there's four points that actually drags the slide out in, in and out. Now that's fairly new. Okay, what used to be is, is two, and they just pull them in on the two down the bottom. And what had happened though at the time, the weight or whatever would move and that would wear. That would then create a problem with either not coming in and out properly or the fact that what would cause is wear. And when you do wear, what happens? You've got water comes in. So this is stops that water coming in by having this in four points, keeps it square. It has servos on it that keeps it all under control so it comes in at the same time. So that's very important to get it right, is have, it, have everything, uh, a high quality product like this on our uh, all our vans that come from Cruiser RV. Cruiser RV do it all the time uh, for all their vans, but it's very important that you understand that we, we're bringing in top, top line um, materials into Australia, the latest technologies. We're not getting the second hand stuff, we're getting exactly what the Americans are getting on their market is coming into the Australian market, because we're flipping it around and just making it compliant for Australia. Very simple, a lot of work involved of course to, to get up to that point, but once we've got it all running, very simple.